Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, joy, and honor to Yahweh, Ahashem, Yahweh Shah, Ahashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And I respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. Coming back at you with another lesson. And it's a. Uh, <clears throat> This article is going to be off for uh, MSN News, you know, basically off the Business Insider. You know, and the title of the article reads, uh, Bill Gates predicts the next four to six months could be the worst of the epidemic. And now you're saying Bill Gates is uh, coming back into the picture. And we all know what this devil is for moment. You know what I'm saying? He basically coming back into the picture and said, oh, the next four to six months is going to be the worst of the epidemic and because we know what the devil is all about. He all about pushing, you know, the vaccine. And this devil along, you know, with, uh, with, with his wife is basically pushing this vaccine on one end, you know, even the devil admitted that he came out and said that something about depopulating the earth and one uh, one conference, one his conference, and you know that he had. But then on the other end, he turns around and he talks about you know saving lives. But we're gonna get a scripture, you know, the, the scripture tells us to you know say to never. Trust our enemy, man. You know what I'm saying? Let, let me just pull this scripture up. You know what I'm saying? Because you have to understand that we should never trust our enemy. You know what I'm saying? Let me see if I can. I can find it. I believe it's in the Apocrypha. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just. Okay, let's hear this. It's Ecclesiasticus chapter 12, and this is verse 9 and verse 10, and it reads, Never trust thine enemy, for light is iron rusted, so, so is his wickedness. And the scripture makes it very plain. You know, we should never trust thine enemy. Why? Because our enemy is not for our benefit, man. And let's read the next verse, verse 11. Excuse me, so can, it reads, Though he humbleth himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass. And thou, hast, thou shalt know that his rust had not all, been altogether wiped away. And, and this devil knows that, that you know what I'm saying, he, his whole agenda. It's a basic push to Matt scene and, and, and the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip. You know what I'm saying? Here it is. This guy was the CEO of Microsoft, and now all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? He's a, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? He, he, you know, I guess he think he's some type of doctor or something. And we know, and the brothers had their lesson on this, that one of his descendants, uh, if you look her up, her name is Margaret Sanger. And, and Marcus Sanger, you know what I'm saying? You know, she hated, you know, you black, Latino, Native Americans. And, and she dedicated her life, you know, to, to trying to destroy you, to, to uh, try to get rid of you. And this guy's from that, he's from that same descendant, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and his uh, agenda, you know, on one hand, he said, we got to, you know, uh, you know, depopulate the earth because there's too many people. And then turn around and say, oh, we just, we got people need to be fascinated so it's going to save lives. Okay, which one is it? But we already know the answer. The devil wants to depopulate the earth, man. You know what I'm saying? They want to get rid of you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans because you are a threat, you know what I'm saying, to their new world order, man. And that's what this is about. They want to get rid of you. You know what I'm saying? And, and these devils are not hiding it, man. They want to get rid of you. You know what I'm saying? Here it is that they made the mass scene and they always been first in everything 
But now when it comes down to the mass scene, they want you, Jason, to be the first one to take it. Uh, no, sir. No, ma'am. We, we're not going to be that stupid to be the first ones to take it. My thing is, if, 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 if you know what I'm saying, this mass scene is supposed to work. And why don't you watch your people out in line, the first one to take it? Because they know what's in the in the mass scenes, man. They know that, that it's stuff that's going to harm them. You know what I'm saying? Because you already had reports on on four people that took it. They they had facial paralysis, man. And, and you think that uh, we're gonna be crazy enough to take it? And then you got this devil rear his ugly head. Talking about some of you know in the next four six months it's going to be worse if if, if you don't take the mass scene. Ba that's basically what he's trying to say, and that's basically what he's pushing. But well, let's just read the article real quick, and then we'll get a couple more scriptures. And I pray this lesson be edified, and I pray that it will not be too long. You know you how willing. It reads during during an interview for CNN State of the Union. Bill Gates told host Jake Tapper that it's bad news for the months to come. And this, I guess it got to believe that he's Yahweh by Shema You know what I'm saying? Well, let's, let's get another scripture, man, because Yahweh Shah already predicted that, that these things were going to happen, man. Even though that this was for uh, the time of, of, of uh, 70 AD, but you can also apply this to today. And this is Matthew chapter 24. And this is verse 7. And it reads, For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. For there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. You want to get out of that, you know, it's the word pestilence. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's what we're seeing now. We're seeing a pestilence that's going on throughout the world, which is called the Crown Royal One Nine. And, and they making a big push on, on that Crown Royal 1-9. And you see, and, and even though they, they has a high, high percentage uh, high percentage of a cure rate, a cure rate, you know what I'm saying? But they pushing this to the ground, man. They even have the media involved in pushing this thing heavy. Why is that? Because they try to get you people, you know what I'm saying, to fear and to take the vaccine, man. But we all know that this is the work of Yahweh by Shema Al Shah. It's, it's, it's to show that he's in control and he's allowing the devil to take down his own kingdom, man. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and they're doing a great job at it. And most I have got these devil checkmated, man. But let's continue on. It reads Gates, Gates had donated over 100 million towards corrupting the seat, uh, Slaki, you know. Let me read again. Gates has donated over 100 million towards Crown Royal One Nine vaccine research. The U.S. administered its first doses of the vaccine to healthcare workers in New York City on Monday, but widespread vaccination would take time. And and Gates said it it's important for people to follow guidelines in the meantime to control the virus spread and this is the same virus that, that the devils is, is the one that put out there man they they have the patent for this virus man and and they put this virus out there to have you people in control and what what's this all about and, and you know what I'm saying brothers made videos about it man it's all about their control it's all about they want to be y'all by Shima shot you know they want to be the most high man that's the reason why these devils, you know, have no problem doing what they have to do in order to get you people in line, man. That's what they want. And they'll tell you, if you don't take the mass scene, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. You're not going to be able to travel. And now you got this devil popping his head back up, saying that the next four to six months is going to it's going to be the worst. And, and why, why he's saying that? Because... Because it's all about pushing that vaccine. And then sooner or later, it's all about pushing the, the RFID microchip. You know what I'm saying? That's what this devil wants to do. You know what I'm saying? He wants to push the he wants to push the RFID microchip. And, and he's saying that if you don't you know take the vaccine, you know what I'm saying, you you're part of the problem. But the vaccine is if if it, 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 it 
causing problems within the human body. And then on top of that, the devil really, the devil really wants you to wear a mask. And what the mask do is cuts off your immune system. It makes it more, it makes it more weak and vulnerable. So where you you can catch the disease, the the devil know what they're doing. They they want you to have a weak immune system. So the way if you if you catch that the the crown royal one now, they can be justified. Say you need the vaccine. If you could take the vaccine, you can be cured. Be cured. But guess what? The side effects of, of this vaccine is, is worse than the crap that they carry, man. You know, it it it's a, it what it is, man. And these devils know what they're doing. You know. Let's continue on. And it reads, why the coronavirus vaccine is finally being administered. Bill Gates said, still says the worst is to come as the U.S. entered the winter months before a widespread vaccination is completed. The next four to six months could be worse of the epidemic. Epidemic, Gates says during an interview with CNN J. Topper. But Gates said echoes what public health, health experts have been saying for months now. As this winter surges of cases, it's likely to be the deadliest yet. And I thought, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, I thought that uh, a virus can't, you know, survive in, 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 in heat, man. It's not the human body. It's made of heat. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The human body temperature, you know, the average is about 97 degrees. So how, how is it that uh, a disease, how, how is it that, you know, a disease can survive that long, man, in the human body? Even though it can be in the human body, but it doesn't survive as long, man, because of the heat. But, you know, anyway, you know, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm a doctor or anything like that, but that's just something to think about, man. And then they talk about and how how is it that this same disease can be airborne as well, man? Because this is, the disease started over in, in China, but now all of a sudden it got airborne over here in Babylon the Great. And and now all of a sudden now all of a sudden now, you know, the so called black Latino Native Americans are the worst the, the people that have the worst case. Do you see where this is going? This is all about, you know, it's all about want, want control. This is all about want to kill the so-called black Latino Native American. And these devils want to do it by any means necessary. They don't care if they got the, they got the lie and everything. Get these people to take the vaccine. That's what they gonna do. Because these devils have no bounds, man. And then you got this devil come, you know, come up here making lies about it's going to get worse for us this month. Yeah, according to the scripture, things are going to get worse. Not because you said because of the scripture prophesied there's going to be wars and rumors of wars and there's going to be famines and pestilence and earthquakes and diverse things. You know what I'm saying? You know, your house out predicted that well over 2,000 years ago. You know what I'm saying? He, he already predicted that, man. That these things will happen, even though he's talking about, you know, the the time, the uh, around seventy A.D. But you can apply this to today, man, and you can see the same thing that went on in seven A.D. when your house child prophesied, you know, over two thousand years ago. You still see it happening today, man. Let's continue on with the article. It reads: If we would have followed the rules in terms of wearing masks. And not missing, we could avoid a large percentage of these deaths. Gates added, in the near term, it's bad news. And, 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 and these masks don't mean anything. And what the mask does is blocks your, it, 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 it makes your uh, immune system weak, man. And then you can't even breathe in the mask. You know what I'm saying? They want you to wear a mask and cut off your circulation and cut off your air. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? And the problem with, with, our, with, with the, this society, they, they are so stupid, man. They are very stupid. You know what I'm talking about? Your how about Shimmy Al Shah made a nose for you to breathe and to, and to collect oxygen, and you wearing a mask suffocating yourself. That, that, that mess is nonsense, man. 
it, it's nonsense. You know what I'm saying? And he's talking about, I'm reading that part again. If we could follow the rules in terms of wearing masks and not missing, we could avoid a large percentage of these deaths. Gay added it in the near term is bad news. And, and, and you dealt with all the ones that put the put the uh crown rule one nine out, man. And and, and, and they and, and they found the path, man. Among you devils, man. You you devil held the path for this disease. You know what I'm saying? For the for the crown rule one nine. And you talking about bad news. It's bad news for you all, you know what I'm saying? But the let the y'all by your mouth shot is gonna be preserved, man. You know, and, and you never know what you you never know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You know exactly what you are doing. And that's the reason why ain't nobody showing you no type of sympathy. You know what I'm saying? Because you know exactly what you are doing. You know? Let's continue on, man. And it reads, Gay has long been sound the alarm about a a pandemic, a pandemic, including a 2017 op-ed for Business Insider in which he wrote that a fast-moving airborne pathogen could kill more than 30 million people in less than a year. For reference, the global death toll for Crown Road 19 is 1.9 million. And, and, it's, and, a, and, and I'm not a doctor. I'm not claiming that I'm an expert in anything. But, the, but uh, a virus a virus can't survive in heat for a very long time, man. That's just, that's just what it is. And you probably could correct me if I'm wrong about that. You know what I'm saying? But we know what this is about. This is about pushing pushing this vaccine to get you people to take it, man. That's what it's all about. And he wants you to take this vaccine and, and he using fear. Fear tactic. Because he knows that a lot of people when they be afraid they gonna go and take the vaccine. Why? Because why? Because they believe if they take this vaccine, that they're gonna be protected from the C V nineteen. But but the vaccine has has a lot of side effects, man. Even even one article I read was a lady that said that you know that once she went got the second doses of it, she felt worse, man. She had a, a real high fever. You know what I'm saying? That she she was shaking and all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? And what what type of medicine is that when you have to be shaking and all this stuff and you get sick and all this stuff? You know what I'm saying? They trying they trying to physically trying to kill you, man. You know what I'm saying? And that what they want, and they doing they that what they want to do by any means necessary. And one thing they gonna try and kill you, Jake, with is this vaccine. And I and I seen a couple brother uh, video where I seen the articles of it that that Eve will, Eve was getting Eve I guess the so called black woman it getting lauded for making the vaccine to kill her own people. You know what I'm saying? This is ridiculous, man. I'm just saying like this: we need Yahweh by Shimei Alsha to return and deliver us out of here, man. This is this is just ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? These, these people off the chain. Not only Eve and Eve, but Eve as well, man. Eve is getting off the chain too. We we need to be delivered up out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? And and, and you and you, Jace, man. Y'all talking about you want to stay here in this society, man? Please, ain't about ain't about trying to stay here. You know what I'm saying? Why you want to stay in a society that you have to wear a mask on your face and you got you you can't breathe, you, you ain't got no oxygen, and then then they want to kill your immune system. But 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 you but you but you Jace out here, y'all talking about, oh we need to take the vaccine if if you don't take you part of the problem. If you take it, you part of the problem. You know, you say you are part of the problem. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Everybody gonna take that mess. You know what I'm saying? You can take it if you wanna take it. But I'm saying at the end of the day. He says it is what it is, man. And we know that y'all by Shima Al is only gonna protect the elect. You know what I'm saying? It's a lack of parameter, but it just makes me upset how, how stupid and ignorant, you know, these people are, man, especially our people, man. They're stupid and they're ignorant and they see that 
that this virus and, and you know that this vaccine has as long term as side effects, man. But what like I said, what about the herbs, man? The herbs that Yahweh Bashim Al Shah to create he created to heal the body, man. What about the herbs? You know what I'm saying? But they don't talk about the herbs, man. They want you to take these these pharmaceuticals that that you know what I'm saying? That's killing your body, man. It's killing your brain cells. You know what I'm saying? That weaken your immune system. You know, it's all about it's all about the money, man. And these people do not care. This is what it's all about. It's about the it's about control. It's about them fighting their pockets. And it's about you depending on them. And, and that's the reason why they're taking down these small businesses. They using the the, the Crown Royal One Nine to take out down the small businesses, so that way you got to totally depend upon them, man. Like I said, man, we need deliverance up out of here. You know, we need to be delivered. Cause, Cause this is this, you know, what I'm saying things are going to get worse than this, man. And, and that's the reason why we tell you, Jace, that you need to repent and turn back to Yahweh by Shem Al Shah before it's too late. You know, this, it, it, this is about to get real ugly out here. They're about to get real, real ugly, real, real quick. But I'm sorry, let's continue on with the article. It reads, the Microsoft co-founder has been active in trying to help get a vaccine out to the public. And its efforts including donate one million via the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation towards vaccine development and therapeutic treatment. He, he has also said he would get the vaccine publicly to to help boost confidence in the treatment. Gates mentioned, mentioned that the presidential transition in the U.S. is complicating the rollout of the vaccine, but he is pleased with the people and the priority that the president elect Biden and Seema bring, bring to bear on this problem. Yeah, this, 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 this president elect Biden. He, he's the devil that's gonna push this, push out this vaccine, man. He, he gonna, he gonna make it mandatory that everybody gets this vaccine. He already said first business off in, in, in three months that everybody's gonna wear a mask. He gonna make it mandatory for everybody to wear a mask. And, and, and you know, for you Jakes out there, you voted, voted for this devil, you're gonna get what's coming to you, man. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Bashim Al Shah told us that we should never have a king to rule over us. Our king is our king is Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. You know what I'm saying? That's our king. We should have never have these heathen nations to rule over us. But yet, you you just reject the Bible, man. You reject the scriptures, and and you want and and, and you did that in the time of Samuel, man. You reject the Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, and we ended up with King Saul. Look how look how that, that turned out. Our people became wicked, man. And we had all we had more bad kings than we did good kings. And then and then on top of that, you know, so lack of rambling. And then on top of that, man, then then, then you niggas, man, you you know, you reject the your house and you and you wanted Barabbas. And then when you, before your house I got crucified, you know, Paul said, Behold your king. And you, and, you, and you stupid two thirds talking about so death. We only got one king, and that's Caesar. Man, you, man, you just never learn, man. You're just told the planet never to trust our enemy. And look what he's doing. Look, look what Bill Gates is doing. He, he pushing for you to get this mass seen. Now he's saying that you know he's saying that things gonna get worse in this four to six months. Why? Because it's all it's all to get you to fear, man. That's what it's all about. It's a fear tactic. And he wants you to he wants you to be afraid so you can run your behind down to the clinic to take this vaccine. That's what he wants you to do. He wants you be he wants you to be afraid to take if you if you if, you know what I'm saying, he wants you to be afraid, he he's gonna tell you if if you uh don't take the vaccine, you gonna Catch the uh, CV-19, and, and, you, and you're going to die. And basically, to the point, if you don't take the CV-19, not only that, 
You know what I'm saying? You're not going to be able to function in this society. And, and my question, what type of nonsense is, is that, man? If you don't take the vaccine, you, you're not going to be able to, to get a job. You're not going to be able, you know what I'm saying, to provide for your family. You're not going to be able to to, to uh, get anything to eat or, or, you know what I'm saying, to, to have a normal life if you don't take the vaccine. This, this this is some BS, man. And these devil know it's some BS, but they don't care. But I'll pray to y'all by Shim Al Shadi. We at the end of this man's kingdom, man. And and and, and these devils are mad and upset. And that's the reason why you seeing seeing them rolling out this mad scene. That's the reason why you seeing them building up this space for because they know y'all shall return them back. They know he's turning he, he's returning to get the elect, man. He's coming to take down this wicked system. You can't wait for the day to happen, man, because I'm sick of this nonsense. We just sick of this nonsense. You can't, you know what I'm saying? You, if you don't take the vaccine, you're not gonna be able to have a life. What? What you mean you're not gonna be able to have a life if you don't take the vaccine? You tell me I gotta put some poisonous shit in my system that's gonna kill me in order to have a normal life? You out your damn mind. I'm, I'm sorry for going off, man, but this, this this stuff just makes you upset, man. You come think about it, and you know what I'm saying? I, I, I guess I'm not, I guess maybe I ain't the only one that's saying that this is a damn problem. But you know what? A lot of you, Jay, you're going to take the vaccine, man. You, you're going to take it. But it is what it is. At the end of the day, how about Shim Al Shah is going to destroy this place? He's going to take this man out of power. You know. Let's continue on with the article to finish it up. It, it you know, it really so far the the mass scene has been met with mixed results from Americans, with only 21 percent saying that they would definitely get the shot, according to the poll by the Pew Research Center. And, and yeah, on 21 percent agree because they're, they're a bunch of damn idiots, man. They're a bunch of idiots for for for, for want to get take the jab, man. To 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 want to get more sicker than what they really are. Yeah, they're a bunch of idiots. You know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of people they seeing beyond this BS, man. They seeing they seeing beyond it. And, and, and it's gonna come to the point that Revelation twelve twelve is gonna have this devil gonna come down with that sword, man. You know he's gonna come down with great wrath because he has for a short time, and he, he's seeing that the people are not cooperating, man. They, they ain't cooperating with his system. They ain't cooperating to get this vaccine. So get what he's gonna come down with that wrath, man. He's gonna come down angry because he wants to get everybody to take the vaccine. And that's going to lead us to the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. You know what I'm saying? He's saying that people are seeing his, he's seeing beyond his BS and they, and, and, they, and they getting a lot of resistance. So it's going to come to a point that, that they, they're they going to bring the sword to get you people to take the vaccine. That's what, that's what they want to do. And they're going to bring the sword. And even even they're gonna bring the sword for you to take the RFID microchip. They they are gonna use the same tactic. And the people that take the vaccine, people that take the vaccine, are the same people who are gonna take the RFID microchip. They they come hand in hand. You know what I'm saying? Let's reach reach the last part. It reads the first shipment of the vaccine were delivered and administered to, to healthcare workers in New York on Monday. You know what I'm saying? They they begin, you know what I'm saying, this mass scene, man. They begin the rollout of this mass scene. And 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 he and these devils know what they know what they doing, man. You know what I'm saying? They and they saying they, they begin it. They already don't begin in, in the healthcare workers in New York on Monday. So it's gonna be a matter of time. They're gonna have they gonna have it all over the fit, all over the United States, in all fifty states, and then they're gonna make it mandatory. If you don't have the vaccine, not only that you, 
not only that you're not going to be able to work, you're not going to be able to have a normal life, man. And then with this devil Bill Gates is pushing, he's saying that the pen, he said he's going to be worth the next four or six months. Because this devil is, you know, he's all about, you know what I'm saying, want, to, want, want you chase dead, man. You, you forgot who he is descended of, Marcus Sanger. He's a descendant of Margaret Sanger. And for you brothers that don't know who Margaret Sanger is, you know what I'm saying? Your brothers already did uh, videos on them, man. You know what I'm saying? She was a, a person that was, you know, leading the so called uh, Planned Parenthood, man. You know what I'm saying? They had you, Jason, go down, you, Jake, women, and you, black, Latino, Native American, which you are here, like, you know, particularly you, Jake, women. To go down there and kill your babies, man. You know what I'm saying? Abort your babies, meaning to kill them. And that's what they want to do. They want to wipe you Israelites off the face of the planet, man. You know what I'm saying? This, this, this machination is not for your benefit. It's to kill you, man. It's to wipe you off the planet. Because they because they look at you as a threat and they and you're not included in their new world order plans, man. You're just not. You know what I'm saying? God, the devil wants full control. And he, and he won't. And he, he don't do it by any means necessary. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is, man. And with that, I want to give all praise, glory, honor, glory unto Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, by Shem, and Kapadash, double honor to the apostle, else a great millstone. And no respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. See you again with another lesson real soon. Yahweh willing, Shadow One, Ababa Ball, and Quam Yasharala. Shadow One.